analyzing a bird deal in Cleveland. Rock, this is your video. Let's dive in. For the price, I mean, this is actually a really nice house. A little bit more rough, a little more ragged. It's gonna keep those values high. Here's quarter mile comps. There's $260,000 houses right down the street. You'll be able to put your offer through me, and then after you close, Holden Wise, we can handle the property management. We'll even be able to help you with the insurance. We have lenders who will write loans for investors in all 50 states. This deal is 100% James Wise approved. James Wise denied. All right, Rock, you have uh, reached out to me to get a desktop analysis of 2304. Noble Road in Cleveland Heights, 44121. I got the property on the screen for you here. This is a duplex, and it is cheap, 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 man. They just dropped the price down to $40,000. Now, uh, interesting little fact about this property. This, this property is, uh, it's honestly kind of like fool's gold, really, right? Like a lot of investors have reached out about this. I've actually done analysis and ran numbers on this for another couple. And uh, I had, uh, I think there was like a third investor uh, who was considering this property. So uh, I've got a lot of experience with this property. This is an interesting property. Before I get into the property, I want to get into you real quick. Um, from everything I'm gathering from uh, your emails and uh, seeing uh, the company you work for, uh, it looks like you're a CEO at a, uh, a company. You're out in there. You're out there in Sacramento, California. Um, so I'm assuming you're you're a pretty high W-2 earner, right? So you're probably coming out here to Cleveland looking for a place to park a lot of cash. Uh, but seeing as you're a CEO, I'm guessing you're kind of entrepreneurial. Um, you're looking to really make your money work for you, which is why you're interested in doing the burr strategy, looking to stretch that stuff out. So the question is, does this property work for you? Does it work as a bird deal? Neighborhood-wise, I dig this neighborhood, man, Cleveland Heights. This is a good neighborhood. But as I said, I've already run numbers on this particular property. Uh, interestingly, I, the, last, the numbers I ran last, right, it was a month ago, okay? Uh, the property one was originally listed. It was listed originally for $65,000. And a month ago, when I ran my numbers, the price had just been reduced to $50,000 because it wasn't moving. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to take you to some of that footage where I broke down uh, the repair costs, I broke down the POS, just a lot of stuff that I said at that time, even though our price point is $10,000 different today than it was when I did this a month ago, a lot of those same things uh, are going to be very relevant to you and what you're doing. So I'm going to show you that footage now. It's a duplex, traditional duplex in Cleveland Heights. Uh, this is listed by a buddy of mine. His name is Dave. He works over at Howard Hanna. Uh, Dave and I, we go back. Uh, Dave and I have pretty opposing political views. Uh, Dave is, uh, well, we're on opposite sides of the spectrum. So if any of you guys follow me on Facebook, and if you don't, go ahead. Also follow me on my Instagram. Uh, Dave and I, uh, we go back and forth on Facebook quite a bit about politics. So Dave is a good dude. I've worked with Dave many times. Uh, here's what we got. Let me make this a little bigger for you. Tommy, is that, is that good for the camera? Looks good. Okay, good. Front porch here. All right. Looking in here. So it's a little little beat up. Okay. Just a little beat up. Kitchen, totally trashed. Missing, missing drawers. Crap over here. Um, just, uh, you know, this kitchen's totally destroyed. Bathroom's totally shredded, as you see here. We got uh, mold everywhere, every which way. Um, pretty mold, moldy in the basement here. Missing a door right there. Okay. Just uh, overall, you know, your standard, uh, you know, beat to hell duplex. But, th you know, that's the name of the game. That's what you're here for. The duplex needs to be beat to hell for it to make sense for the burr strategy. So nothing wrong with the fact that it is beat to hell, 
but the question is going to be, is it actually going to make money? Is it going to work? Is it going to be a good investment? Is it going to fit your criteria, right? The purchase price, you know, the ask price right now, it was 65. You're right. They just lowered it to 50,000. It's been on the market almost two months now. 50,000 is too high. You can't pay 50,000. I, I like Cleveland Heights. I think Cleveland Heights is a cool neighborhood. And I like the duplex itself, but with the amount of work required and the, the current ass price, this deal has to be 100% James Wise denied. Now, if this sits on the market for a long time and you can get that price way, way down, this could be a deal, but you cannot um, pay 50,000. You cannot do it. Um, in Cleveland Heights, there's something called a point of sale inspection, okay? Cleveland Heights, anytime a seller sells a house in Cleveland Heights, the seller goes uh, to the city, the city comes out, and they do an inspection, uh, several violations, right? And the seller to sell the property has to either fix all those violations prior to the sale, or a buyer, you, has to assume them. You have to put money in escrow. So you have to buy the property cash because it's beat to shit, right? So you're going to buy it cash. It's not livable. Bank's not going to loan you any money. But you already know that because you guys, you're aiming to do a burr. Um, so you're in the right spot here. Uh, but, you know, you have to put up your cash just so you know. You also separately than your cash have to put up the money to repair. So like say you bought it for 50 and then uh, the repairs are like 50, right? You have to put up your 50, spend another 50. So you're spending 100. You also have to put 50 in escrow. City won't give you the money back till you fix it. Uh, this POS is, whoo, this is a, a brutal POS. Let me make this a little bigger for you guys to see here. This was a long one. Okay, so just going through the POS, you know, these are all the things uh, that have been violated. Okay, just quickly going through them here. There's no utilities, so electrical, plumbing, heating, heating systems. You got to square all those away. Uh, you got to find and correct the cause of water seepage through the foundation wall. Just for that alone, they want you to hold 5000 in escrow. Uh, there's a weak slash sagging floor, so that means there's uh, you know some issues with the floor joists, structural issues, that, that issue alone. They want 1500 in escrow. You got uh, loose flaking uh, paint material. Uh, the waste stack is totally broke, uh, so that's 1250 for that. Page two, place deteriorated water line, missing drain, uh, install hot water tanks. Okay, just more and more. Replace missing damaged door. That's probably that back door. Uh, they want you to remove the ceilings and the framework uh, from the bathroom. So going back over here, that would be, that was this right here. Where the heck was it? Uh, that was this. So what they want you to do, which you have to do. I mean, obviously you can't put a tent in here, but you got to pull all this down um, and then, you know, reframe it up, probably replace some of those joints that are probably covered in mold. Um, and just kind of, you know, just going down, just, just more stuff that's relatively obvious and would have to happen um, during any cosmetic renovation uh, to actually get this to rent uh, to tenants. I want to see if there's anything here that was outside of like what we do like usually with point of sale cities like you know <clears throat> a lot of times the point of sale uh violations list it's all stuff we'd have to do anyway on a bird deal um, but sometimes the cities they they add a few additional costs when there's a point of sale inspection like a lot of times these duplexes like we could definitely get tenants in there without replacing the driveways but the cities are notorious uh, for hitting you for the driveways um, i'm looking to see if this one has a driveway on it which would add more cost, obviously. Oh, oh here's a big one. Replace deteriorated roof. You got to hold 8,000 in escrow there. Um, Place some damaged windows. Oh, they want you to rebuild the steps and the guardrails. Another 3K for that. Tuck point the foundation. Yeah, we're still going. We're still going. This is a, this is a big one. 
Let's see here. Oh, here's a huge one right here. You have to actually install a new garage. So they want you to hold $12,000 in escrow for that one. And that would go on top. See, that's like an added cost. Like you could normally, if this was Cleveland or something, you could re definitely rent this to tenants without a garage. So that's an additional 12. And that's just what they want in escrow, to be honest with you. Your cost actually for a garage is to pour a new pad and get a garage, you're probably actually looking at 16 to 18K. So let's just call it 18K. Let me jot that down. Okay. And then they also want you to replace the driveway. Only asking $3,000 in escrow, but that's that's really probably like a $6,000 job. So that right there, it's $24,000 of added cost, okay, that you wouldn't need to do to get it uh, rent ready. So we got a total uh, POS escrow, $102,800. So if you were to buy this, you'd have to spend 50,000 cash. You'd have to put 102,800 um, in escrow at the city. So now you've got $150,000 deployed and you still haven't even began your renovations. Obviously the house is, is pretty darn beat. I believe cosmetically we're looking at, um, Probably the renovation for this property with how beat it is, I think, you know, it would cost, you would probably spend, I would say to get it cosmetically and all the items cosmetically that are in that point of sale inspection report, I think you're going to spend probably $60,000 putting this house together. And that would be going in, new kitchens, new baths, all the interior stuff adding a new roof, new furnaces, new hot water tanks. I think we'd be spending about 60000 But remember, that point of sale, right, stuff that wouldn't necessarily be required to rent the property, uh, it added additional cost. Um, the cost to actually do that garage would be about 18000 So all in, I think we're spending $78,000 to renovate this property. So you have to spend your fifty, dollars spend one hundred two. dollars then spend 78 and then you get your 102 back. So if you bought it, you know, you're all into the bad boy. Let me just quickly do the math for 50 and 78. You'd be all into this thing for $128,000. The ARV is only going to be about $100,000. So this, this deal is, you know, going to be James Wise denied. I, lo I like the property, like location. I like uh, the rentability. I think, you know, you get good tenants, right? You'd be able to rent each of those units as two bed, one bath, like fully renovated like that, you'd get 750. So you can bring in 1500 a month, but it doesn't make any sense. Um, you know, you can't pay 50 cause that'll put you in at, at 128, you know, with that $78,000 renovation plus the hundred thousand dollar POS, even if you got this property for free, um, I, I don't really think it's like the, the best move, right? Um, cause you can get it for, f I mean, I get, if you got it for free, you're all in for 78, you could do a refi, you get all your money back, but who's to say the seller's gonna, gonna give it to you for free? Uh, so for now, I'm gonna say James Wise denied. The seller's asking 50, you'd have to literally get it for free to successfully pull off a bird deal and get all your money back. Cause uh, when you do the refi, it's gonna refi for 100, okay? And you're gonna be required to have 25% down. Uh, so that would be a $75,000 loan. So you'd only be into the deal for $3,000. That would be a successful bird deal, but you'd literally have to get the property for free. They're asking 50. I don't think my man Dave is gonna be able to convince his clients to, to take an offer of free. So this deal, let's go ahead and James Wise deny this deal. All right, Rock, welcome back, brother. Um, so, so like I said, man, uh, with the ARV uh, of 100K, right? Last month, that's what I said the ARV was. It's it's still the same. The ARV is still the same. Uh, more or less for it to be a good Burr deal, I, I, same thing. Like, yeah, our price point today is $10,000 cheaper than it was a month ago, um, but you still need to pick it up at zero, right? Uh, you still got $102,000 POS to deal with. Um, and you still have an ARV capping you out at 100K. So if you bought it at 40K, we put that 78K into it, you're all in for 118K, not to mention you had to put $102,000 in escrow. That don't make no damn sense. 
Um, if you got it for free, I guess it makes sense. Um, I guess if you got it for like maybe like 10, 10, 15,000, uh, I suppose that's okay. That'll work as a, a semi successful burr because, uh, you know, when you do a burr deal, right, the idea is to, to put in less than what its ARV is. You're not going to get all your money back, but you're going to get a little bit back. So I guess if you did, uh, you know, you bought the property at 10K, right? You're all in for 88K. The property is actually worth 100K. So in a sense, we can call that a successful bird deal. I still would probably James Wise deny. I'm definitely James Wise. De it's definitely James Wise denied at 40K. Definitely James Wise denied at 30K. I think it makes sense free, but even at free or like at 10K, it's still pretty risky. At 10K, you're all into the sucker for 88K. Um, it's worth 100K. On the surface, that sounds good, but let's not forget, dude, like the, the amount, the opportunity cost here is huge. A, the renovation is going to take forever, and B, that POS, you literally need to put $102,000 into escrow. So you need your funds. So if you're buying it at, like, let's say 10K, you need your 10, then you'd need to, you know, deploy 102,000, then you'd need to spend 78,000 just to get your 102,000 back. That is like a huge amount of work, a huge amount of capital output, a huge amount of risk. Uh, that's why when I did this analysis a month ago, I said for, you know, anybody to really want to do this deal, I think you got to get it free. Uh, I still pretty much feel that same way. Um, you know, if you could pick it up at 10K, I, I suppose I would see why someone would think about doing that. But again, I, I think there's just better, better ways out there to deploy your capital. Um, like at that point, I would just save all that unnecessary work and risk. And I would just buy myself something that's already turnkey uh, for 100K, right? Just put down the 25%. I'm assuming, like I said, you're a CEO out there in Sacramento, California. So I'm assuming you're a high earner. I assume you have a, a large amount of capital. I also assume you're a pretty busy guy. Um, so in my opinion, you know, I, I think a guy like you, high earner, you know, you'd probably be better suited to A, wait it out for a really solid bird deal, or instead of doing this one, just pick something up that's turnkey. I don't think you probably, I'm assuming you probably don't have a shortage of money, and I'm assuming you probably aren't looking to quit your job as a CEO anytime soon. Uh, so that, you know, those are my thoughts on this deal. Uh, Rock, thanks, man. I appreciate you reaching out to me. Um, you know, you had originally uh, anticipated spending only 65000 and it turns out you're going to have to spend a lot more than that. If you picked it up at the purchase price, you're going to spend about double at 118000 So you did the smart thing. Instead of dropping your money, you spent a small amount of money, got the analysis. You know, this few hundred bucks that you've paid me today has possibly saved you, you know, sixty, sixty-five thousand dollars So that's a smart move on your part, Rock. Uh, anybody else who's watching this, um, if you go to HoltonWise.com and you click up here, the property search, you're going to get to this page right here. First thing you want to do, you want to click that start here tab. Uh, it's going to take you to my mailing list. What that's gonna do is that's gonna put you on my mailing list. I send out one video every day, 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and they come with full-on video tours. You know, it's the Investment Properties for Sale show. Uh, you get that every single day. You know, we're gonna be doing an analysis or a tour on one or more properties every day directly to your inbox that I'm selling. You don't have to pay to see that stuff. Uh, I am the number one seller of rentals in Cleveland, so just tons of inventory out there for you. But I'm not the only guy selling properties in Cleveland. There are about 5,000 other realtors. Uh, my man Dave, who you know you saw in the footage here, I know him. He's a good dude, more or less a residential realtor, which most of them are. But you know, strength in numbers, right? There's 5,000 of them. So I'll, all the deals, I, as much as I'd love them all to go through me, they don't. There are other realtors who are getting deals every now and again. Uh, but those guys usually aren't set up to really break this down as an investment like I am. So in those situations, you scroll down here, okay? Scroll down here. Here's all my analysis products. Rock got the, 
the 499 one, just a desktop video analysis. Everything I do, I do it right here from this here desk, all the publicly available data and all the knowledge I got up here. But there's others, you know, if you don't know exactly what you want, you want me to go out there and find it for you, uh, we can do an MLS search. If you want me to take my film team and actually send them to the property, those products are available. So check that out. And, uh, you know, I have a direct MLS feed for you guys right here so you can search the Cleveland market. And they don't have to be on the MLS list by the realtors either, just so you guys know. We'll do anything. Uh, for sale by owner, other turnkey companies, uh, if you're sending out your own direct mail, talking to little old ladies, you know, we'll analyze. I'll, any and every deal you guys got out there, I will analyze. It's the smartest move ever, man. When you buy a property, you get a home inspection because you know spending that three, four, five hundred dollars can save you tens of thousands of dollars down the road. But that home inspection, that is inside the four walls. These analysis, this handles stuff that's outside the four walls, stuff that your home inspector isn't going to know. The rentability, the risk, you know, what's the tenant base going to be like? How is this property going to work specifically as an investment vehicle? That's what I do. Inspectors don't do that. So be smart like my man Rock here. Um, you know, spend the money doing your due diligence inside the four walls like my man Rock did. Do it outside the four walls as well. Um, like always, guys, if this is the first video you've ever seen or if you're a longtime viewer, do me a solid and smash the like, subscribe, or share button. As always, I'm James Wise with Holton Wise, and this is Real Estate Investing Made Easy. For the price, I mean, this is actually a really nice house. A little bit more rough, a little more ragged. It's gonna keep those values high. Here's quarter mile comps. There's $260,000 houses right down the street. You'll be able to put your offer through me, and then after you close, holding wise, we can handle the property management. We'll even be able to help you with the insurance. We have lenders who will write loans for investors in all 50 states. This deal is 100% James Wise approved. James Wise denied. Cleveland, Ohio is widely considered to be one of the top rental markets in the entire United States. This is because here in Cleveland, our housing prices are low and our rental prices and demand are high. At Holton Wise, we provide the complete turnkey solution for all real estate investors, whether they are local, out of state, or even abroad. As real estate brokers, we will provide you with agent representation to help you buy properties ranging from single family homes to large apartment complexes. We even have referrals for lenders who can provide investment property loans to investors located in all 50 states, allowing you to capitalize on the use of leverage or other people's money. We have referrals to top-notch title companies so you know that all of your transactions are safe and secure, with every single property being delivered to you with clear title. Once you close on the property, we have an investor-focused insurance brokerage who can handle all your property insurance needs. This insurance brokerage handles auto, home, life, and business policies but they specialize in working with policies for landlords. We also have full service property management. We can handle all rental property advertisements, tenant placement, rent collection, evictions, maintenance, landscaping, construction, and repairs. In addition, Holton Wise also offers digital media and education. One day, when you are ready to sell your investment, Holton Wise, as the number one seller of investment properties in the greater Cleveland area, can market your property in a video just like this one to our worldwide base of investors who are looking to capitalize on the high cash flow opportunities in the Cleveland, Ohio market. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content, including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, 
real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from hell. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.